Hi guys, it's Cassidy, and I'm back with our Fit Friday video of the week. But don't worry, we don't have to do it outside. We can head on inside. This workout will be themed with the sporting events that are in that Winter Games. So we're going to get started with some stretching first. So what we're going to do first is our trunk rotations. So you're going to stand straight, and we're just going to bend at our waist moving our upper body around. You should feel that in your back. And it should be a good stretch. We'll do that for a couple more seconds. And now we're gonna change directions. All right, good job. And the next stretch we are going to do is our um, reach to one foot. So we're going to stand up, reach up tall, and we're going to reach down to one side and cut the turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And reach up tall again and to the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now for the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. And then the next stretch we are going to do are some big arm circles, okay? So we're going to stand here and we're going to do really big arm circles to get those arms stretched out, okay? Arms forward for now. Big arm circles. And now we're going to change directions and go backwards. Let's really get those arms loosened up. Good job. Shake those arms out. And now we're going to do some, uh, kind of like flapping like a bird, but this way. Get those arms really stretched out. Good job. Now we're going to take a seat on the ground for this one with my camera. We're going to sit with our foot out in front of us and we're going to bend one knee, cross it over our leg, and hug our knee. We're going to do this for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And switch, bend that knee up over your leg and hug your leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. All right, and now we're gonna get started with our workout. Again, it's uh, themed on the sports that are in our winter games, so we're gonna have some fun with it. So first thing we are going to do is, one second, let me grab my timer. So the first thing we are going to do, we have an opening ceremony at the Olympics. So we're going to start with uh, the lighting of our Olympic torch. And we're going to do this exercise for 30 seconds. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to reach up, light the torch. Reach up, light the torch. Okay. Pretty easy. Simple. Get us started. All right. Ready, set, go. Reach up, light the torch, light the torch. And just keep doing that motion over and over again. Fifteen seconds left. Five. Good job. That was a good start to our workout. So now that we've had our opening ceremonies and we've lit our Olympic torch, um, we are going to do our next exercise which is going to be based off of our snowshoe march sport or like our snowshoe run. So we're going to, what we're going to do to mimic that exercise is we're going to do some high knee marches. Okay. And we're going to do that one again for 30 seconds. Are you ready? All right. Let's make sure we're getting those knees up to our belly button area. If it helps, you can put your uh, hands here and make sure your knees are hitting it. 
So we're really getting those knees high. Good work. Keep going. We're going to wait until we hear that timer. Marching with our snowshoes on. Good job. Good job. Keep going. And done. Good job. That was our snow snowshoe march. So the next thing we're going to do um, they have alpine skiing at the winter games. So that, you have your two skis on your feet and you're kind of going like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to do like an alpine ski jump. It's not quite the same thing they do, but it's themed like it. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump side to side and kind of move your hands like this. Sorry, didn't mean to have that timer. But uh, if you can't jump like that, we're just going to step side to side, okay? And we're going to do that for 30 seconds. So once I get my timer started, we're going to do that. All right, so I'm ready. I hope you guys are too for alpine jumps. Remember, if you get tired, you can do the step side to side, okay? But try to keep jumping. This is a good cardio workout. It's going to get our heart rates up. And done. Whew. That one's a hard one, so if you want to grab water for a second, if you have it close by, go ahead. If it's not close by, you can pause the video and grab it. Awesome. So what's next? Uh, most likely you're going to want to stand by a wall or by a couch, something you can um, lean on if you're going to fall. Um, we're going to do figure skater balance. So the figure skaters do like arabesques and stuff. So we're just going to work on our balance. So we're going to stand by something in case we fall. You don't have to hold it the whole time, just kind of keep trying, okay? So we're going to do that for 30 seconds on the first leg. Ready? Set? Go. So just balancing on that leg. Our foot is by our knee. We can put our hands out for balance and we're just kind of holding it. Also, you might be tired from that first workout, so take some deep breaths in through your nose, but not through your mouth. So when you get out of breath, that's a good thing to focus on is your breathing. Keep balancing. Good job. Now we're going to try the other leg. And we're going to do that one for 30 seconds as well. So balance on that leg, foot by your knee. Put your arms out for balance. Try not to touch, the, touch your table or your couch or, what, or your wall if you can. But if you need to, if you're falling, go ahead. So just working on that balance. Good job, we're almost done. Good job. All right, and for our next exercise, we are going to do um, speed, like they have speed skating uh, in the winter games. Obviously, we don't have ice rinks in our house, so we're gonna do a modified workout. We're gonna do a speed skating run basically. So that's not going to work. So when the ski speed skaters are going, they're bent over like this a lot. So we can run like this if we want to really act like we're speed skating or we can run up tall. So we're just going to run in place like the speed skaters and we're going to do that for 30 seconds. Okay. Ready and go. So you can do your bent over one or you can just stand up tall and run in place. Fifteen seconds left. Keep going. And 
And good job. That's the end of that one. Grab a drink if you want. And our next exercise we are going to do is our, they have floor hockey in the winter games. So when they're doing their floor hockey, they have their stick and they're kind of going back and forth with the puck. So we're going to do an ab exercise that is like that a little bit. So we're going to sit down on the ground, you're going to put your feet down, and we're going to do that floor hockey movement with our abs. To make it challenging or more challenging, you can lift your feet up and do that movement. And if you if that's too hard, you can just sit in a chair, pretend I'm in a chair, and you can just move your arms back and forth. But we are going to do that for 30 seconds. All right, ready, set, go. So move those arms back and forth. Good job. You should feel this in those belly muscles. Awesome job. And that was the end of that one. So the next thing we are going to do is we are going to um, do another figure skating exercise. So our figure skaters, they like to do a lot of like spins and stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to do three spins that way and we're going to do three spins that way. So put your hands up like a figure skater. And then we're going to spin three times. One, two, and three. And we're going to go back the other way. One, two, and three. That was just a fun one to get our uh, breasts calmed down so we can do our next uh, high intensity exercise. And our next exercise is going to be based on our snowboarders that we have at the games. So they have this big thing on their feet and they're kind of doing awesome jumps and stuff. So what we're going to do, we're going to do a modified version of that. This is our snowboard themed exercise. So we're going to stand with our feet apart, shoulder width, kind of like our squat exercise. And what we're going to do is we're going to squat down like the snowboarders are going to jump and then we're going to jump up. So that's imitating when the snowboarders jump off the snow. All right, and we're going to do 10 of those. So go with me. And if you can't do the jump, it's OK to just do a squat. All right, so 10 of those. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job. That was a hard one. You're going to feel that here in your legs tomorrow. So that was great. And then what we are going to do next is we are going to celebrate our uh, athletes by uh, this is what we're going to do. So we're going to step up onto our podium. And we're going to bend down and get our medal. So when we bend down, we're just bending at our waist. Kind of like a good morning exercise. So what it's going to look like is this. Step up on the podium, bend down, and get your medal. Because we like to celebrate our athletes who do a good job by putting them on the award stand and giving them their medal. So we are going to do that for 30 seconds. All right, you guys ready? All right, let's go. Step up, get your medal. Step up, and get your medal. Keep doing that. And that's our 30 seconds. Good job. 
So that was the end of the workout. So I would like you guys to go back and rewind the video and go through that workout one more time. And then after you're done with that, once you get to this part of the video again, we're going to finish up with some stretches. So I want the first stretch to be our pike stretch. You're going to bend down with straight legs and touch our toes. We're going to do that for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. And then we're going to do our hip hugs again. We're going to sit down on the floor. Put your feet in front of you. Bent knee. Cross it over your leg. And hug your hip. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Bend your knee, other leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. And then we'll finish up with some side reaches. So one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. And then that concludes our workout for the day. I hope you guys liked our Winter Games themed workout. And I will see you again next Friday. Make sure to get your water in because... Water is very important after working out. I hope you guys had fun. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.